Okay, pause this video and try the problem on your own. So in this problem, I think the language is a little bit awkward, um, but let's decipher what it's saying. Write an equation that defines m of x as a trinomial, where m of x equals 3x minus 1 times 3 minus x plus 4x squared plus 19. Then they want us to solve for x when m of x is 0. So they're basically saying um, simplify this and write it as a trinomial and then solve for um, x when it's equal, then the expression is equal to 0. So that just means we want to simplify. We'll start off with that. 3x minus 1 times 3 minus x, two binomials being multiplied, plus 4x squared plus 19. So the first thing we want to use, do is use the distributive property. 3x times 3 is 9x. 3x times negative x, don't forget your negative sign there, is negative 3x squared. Negative 1 times 3 is minus 3. And negative 1 times negative x is positive x, plus 4x squared, plus 19. So let's simplify this. Use the highest powers first, 4x squared and negative 3x squared. That's x squared. Right, 4x squared minus 3x squared is 1x squared. Then we have our x's next. Plus x plus 9x is plus 10x. And then lastly, we have 19 and negative 3. So that's plus 16. Alright, so we have this, and we want to solve it when x equals 0, so do that down here. So x squared, uh, m of x equals 0, excuse me, plus 10x plus 16 is going to equal 0. And oops, and here I forgot, this equals m of x. So we're substituting 0 for m of x. Now to factor this, we just need to find, um, this is I think a simple factoring case. We have our x's here, and then we have plus 2 and plus 8 because... Right? We need two numbers that multiply to 16 but add to 10, and those are 8 and 2. So now we use the zero product property, because at this point in the problem we have this number here, it's called the red number, and this number here, the blue number. We're multiplying the red and the blue number, and the product is zero. That means either the red number is zero, because zero times anything is zero, or the blue number is zero, right? or they're both zero. So we start by assuming they're both zero, say, if x plus 2, if this number equals 0, or this equals 0, what does x equal? Remember in math, if you say this or that, it really means x plus 2 equals 0, or x plus 8 equals 0, or both do. Right? That third case is included, that both could. So we solve for x here by subtracting 2, and x equals 2. That just means if x is 2, oh, excuse me, negative 2, if x is negative 2, and you see here negative 2 plus 2 would give you 0, times it, you would get negative 2 plus 8, or 6 here, but 6 times 0 is 0. That works. If we subtract 8 here from both sides, x equals negative 8. And that also gives you a product of 0, because negative 8 plus 8 is 0. Even though negative 8 plus 2 is 6, we have 0 times 6, which is still 0. So those are our two values for x that work. All right, hope this helped.